Alright guys, welcome back to another video. This one will just be a few tips on the Galaxy Watch 4 and Watch 4 Classic. There's a few things I might have missed when setting up this watch. Um, I'll go through a few a few tips and tricks. And let me know in the comments if, you, if you've got a few of your own that I've missed. First thing, you can rearrange your tiles and customize your quick settings. If you want to rearrange your tiles, go across, just press and hold. You can rearrange them, you can delete them, add more. So when you go to the end, you can add more tiles. Press and hold, rearrange them. Or press the top one here, you can delete it. Right with the quick settings, same thing, press and hold. You go into edit mode, press and hold, you can rearrange them. You can delete. And if you've got more, you can add more. The SOS mode, basically in this you've got full detection also. Advanced features, There's SOS. when home keys press three times or when the hard fall is detected and it will send an SOS to one of your contacts that, you, that you've already put in. Right, you can customize your keys. So the home key, if you double press, I'll go to most recent, you can set for alarm, Bixby, buzz controller, calculator, whatever here you can set it to. If you press and hold the home key, I'll go for power off. Or you go for wait Bixby. But don't use that. So I'll keep it for to power off. The back key, you go to previous screen for the back key. Or show recent apps. Um probably best to keep it on recent apps because it goes this is the back key to go back, but also you can swipe. To go back, you got your gestures, sounds of calls. So you shake your arm twice, bend the elbow to answer a call, or to reject, reject the call. So you rotate your wrist twice to dismiss alarms or decline incoming calls. And also, with the update, the recent update on this, you got a quick launch. So you can open apps with like a, a knock knock gesture. By default, um, tap to wake is not on. So if you want to put tap to wake on, go into the display. You, here you can do your always on if you want. And um, I've got raise to wrist and touch screen to wake. But this is where you, where you do your settings. By default, touch to wake is off. So I'll, I'll put that on. You can also weight your screen up with the bezel. And in here also you get your screen timeout and show last app. So within two minutes. You can change your font style, font size, touch sensitivity. So if you're wearing gloves, this will make it more sensitive. Right in accessibility, you got um some settings here but what we're going to look for we go to advanced settings do your vibration on the watch and here you can do a two finger triple tap so if you set that if you set it to grayscale so basically everything will turn gray so i'm guessing that will save save you a, a bit of battery all right so now we'll do the two finger triple tap to activate the grayscale there you go activated so everything will be grey no colour whatsoever right to get back to normal go to settings accessibility visibility enhancements and turn off grayscale and everything's back to normal right now trick here you got you got um you take screenshots, just press 
two the buttons together and it should do your screenshot so there you go so you go to your apps you go to gallery that's your screenshot right now I think you can make it run a bit a bit faster make the animations move quicker so to do this you need to go into um, developer options So we go to settings, go to about watch, the software, and type the software version five times. So it's a developer mode turned on. So we'll go back and go back again. And then up here you have your developer options. So in the developer options you can stay awake when charging. So when it's charging you can have your clock. Your Bluetooth snoop login. So what we're looking for, we want the animation scale. So window animation scale is on times one. We put it on five more than 5 or 0.5 and you notice that the watch will feel much much quicker much more snappier than going through different screens right another thing is a gboard because the keyboard that comes with the watch this type here. So if we search for Gboard, let's install it. So it's the Google keyboard. Right, so now we downloaded it. We'll go to settings, go to General, yep, import in here for keyboard list default as Samsung. Go to Gboard, so right now, when you want to search, go to keyboard, you got your Google keyboard now, and you got your swipe gestures as well, which much, much, much easier than the original keyboard. Right, the next thing is to install Google Pay. But it's just Samsung Pay that's on this, so you can still use Google Pay, but it's not installed on a watch, so you gotta install it. Go to Advanced Features, Customize Keys. So this one's automatically for Samsung Pay, you can't get rid of that. What we'll do double press and then you can say it as Google Pay so this one is still Samsung Pay you press and hold it can't get rid of that but if you double tap top one now we Google Pay right guys hopefully you found some of these tips useful um, if there's any that I've missed, then don't hesitate to write down in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.